The Dawn Gate opens. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, we got MetaMaker running the House Anzanari variant skin. And wow, it looks like uh, Resilience 3 Pots is becoming the standard here now. <laughs> And he's running a modified version of the default loadout. Uh, he's running, looks like, 13.8 power, uh, 1.6 haste, 70 health, and 8 armor. And looks like he took Dispel. Ugh. I don't know. I'm going to take Dispel as a second one here. I guess he's expecting Drain, which is, well, probably a fair take... expectation. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we've got... Uh got wild style over here he's running a health power haste loadout uh no passives um he did take drain so that dispel may come in handy yeah it most definitely will also come in handy at level six because you can dispel the chaos shell exactly and despite what some people might think that actually is a solidly large amount of damage um in 1v1 not as much but in a in a group fight uh it's actually enormous if you can land it um and they don't have dispel and they're in a group that's just so much pulsing AOE damage. Oh, come on, MetaMaker. It's not over. You just took a couple celerity <laughs> shells, man. Meta gonna go ahead and back. It's fine. Minions have spawned. Well, I would say he's backing to go buy potions, but these guys are gladiator. There's no tactician. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm still... The, the gladiator thing is interesting. I mean, it is definitely solid. Um, if you're gonna just focus on farming. Um, and it'll be great once... Uh, the changes, map 2.0, item palooza, all of the stuff, fun stuff that they announced this week, um, goes live because then it's just more more money for you, right? Um, in this format, eh, I don't know. I think I'd rather I see know, the tactician. Downsy used Gladiator to great effect during Best Dibs World, even so. I mean, can't really fault Gladiator in this format. Yeah, it's I, clearly worked. I'm, I'm just going to say, I, I would say Dibs, this is going to come off a little odd. I think Dibs is a better gladiator in a 1v1 format than a Varian is. Uh, the reason I say that is because he can eat harass, because he can just pop up a shield. But we've got them both going in for some heavy harass. Both people are down uh, below half health now. Meta with the early level 2, though. Uh, Garwar, are we dropping frames? I got somebody in chat saying that we are dropping frames. Um, OBS says I dropped 6. I don't know that's a gigantic deal. So... I'm showing live and everything's good. Uh, I would say... I think it's just Vestboy then. Yeah. Oh, when in doubt, it's Vestboy's fault. Obviously. I think that's a general Dawn Gate rule. Solid trades again from Wildstyle and Meta. Meta maker first to three, but he doesn't push the advantage. Well, that's understandable because if he tried to push it, he'd be pushed under the binding and... We all know how binding shots uh, work in this format. They uh, they tend to hurt. They they tend to hurt a lot. Um, he's also a little behind uh, in health. He's been eating a little more of wild harass than than vice versa. All right, looks like a uh, meta maker over here popping a potion. Looks he's got one left, uh, as does Wild Style. A little bit of CS and going on here. Uh, Mud, uh, I'm sorry, you'll have to wait for best Amaranth, though, world. I, I think that would be a little unfair if you could play Amaranth in best variant world. Oh, there's the aggressive progress gates from both of them. <laughs> Wildstyle dropping the drain, which is immediately dispelled by Meta Maker. Yeah. And that was, that was great timing on that dispel, too, because I think it might have gotten just one pulse off and it was gone. Yeah, I, mean, I saw one go off. And drain is actually a significant amount of damage. I mean, it's it's a hundred damage at this level. But I mean, when you've only got 800 health, I'd, oh, oh. Meta Maker dropping low. No, he's gonna get to his binding. Ah. Wildstyle's thinking about it, but Meta Maker standing just outside of celerity shell range, and he's gonna have to go back on the Strider wave. He's gonna lose a lot of experience here. Yeah, and, and well, he hasn't gone back though, so we'll see. I mean, he's gonna push oh, this no. in. He wants that Strider. Uh, and he wants to defend his wave. Uh, a, a proper troll gate here, though, could finish him off, so we'll see what happens. This is true. Well, he's going to lose some damage on his binding. He's going to lose some CS. 
And now I think he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna go back now. I just think he didn't want to lose the Strider Rave. Good call. I mean, he was up 5 CS anyway, so I guess he wanted to just stick around and get that. And to be fair, Wildstyle's pretty low himself. He's only got 300 hit points right now, so a Celerity Show and a couple basic attacks would have done him in. Yeah, and he may have wanted to hang around. He may have looked at his how much Vim he had, and he wasn't at an item break point. So going back really would would do you nothing. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Metamaker saying you went dispel out of habit for some reason. <laughs> but it well, it was well a good habit. It saved him. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Metamaker comes back with a desire. Actually, that's interesting. I wouldn't expect that. Um, it's actually a pretty good item. Uh, you oh, no doubt. get the armor, which is going to be defense, obviously, against a Varian is perfect. Um, you're going to get some life drain, um, and it it's going to ramp up. Um, it, it, you know, the more you, the more health you lose. So. And then we've got Wildstar coming back with uh, an integrity, so maybe looking for an order. And order is really not a bad item if you're just looking to mitigate basic attacks. It's a lot of armor. It's pretty cheap. It's about, what, 1,900 or 2,000 Vim, somewhere in that? range and reduces damage from basic attacks by 15%. I mean, even the advanced version is good. Dropping the uh, damage from oh, basic there attacks goes the chaos by 8%. Yeah, Chaos Shell on the Wild Style, although I think it was a little premature. Mm -hmm. He's only got Wild Style to half health here. It, it, I think it was actually a pretty good play, because here's the thing. Uh, Wild Star didn't come back with uh, a whole lot of sustain. I mean, he has his hunger, sure, but that means he's got to sit there auto-attacking. Meta knows he can put down a lot of harass. He can heal uh, against any trades they make because of his itemization choices. And now there's the pretty troll gate overall. right there. Now, oh, but he lets his gate expire, and he's going to eat a binding shot because of it. Oh man, and a celerity. Oh, what? Is, what is with all the binding shots being eaten in best shape or world? I don't understand it. Players tend to eat binding shots in this format, like our guns eat carrots. They just love them. And, uh, yeah, chat, I, I would agree. I would uh, definitely place your money on Varian winning this competition. Yes. Yep, if you're placing... That's probably a safe bet. If you're using the Salty Moya interface, uh, place your bets on Varian, and you will win 100% of the time. Oh. oh, aggressive gate into the Slarity Shell, into a Chaos Shell, but he should dispel that, unless but it's not didn't. up. So, I'm thinking wasn't up. I guess, I no, oh, that's right, Wildstyle well, so dropped the drain on him earlier and got the yeah. dispel with that. Ah, that's smart. Solid. Wildstyle's down in health, though, so he can't really stick around too much here. Well, he's got the level advantage, at least, though. But that doesn't really matter too much. That might give him just an extra point in uh, Insight Shell. I wouldn't imagine these guys are maxing Progress Gate. Although, I guess you could make a case for it. I mean, it builds the Insight Shell stacks a lot faster. <laughs> Oh, Metamaker with the aggressive <laughs> progress gate and a couple of those at Slarity Shell. No, he's going to run away with very, very little health. That's going to give Metamaker a free rest of the wave, and he's going to get some damage on the binding. Oh, but the Striders show up and is going to deny that. Yeah. Uh, Meta will uh, heal up quite a bit, though, off uh, this wave without having to take any harass off anyone. So. That is true. That is the one Almost advantage. Almost like going of, uh, back Empire. without going back. Exactly. Oh, come on, Wildstyle. You're doing fine, man. I mean, right. it's... I mean, you're only down 21 CS. I mean, that's not he all actually, that bad. And he got back in time to pick up uh, pick up the Strider. I mean, the Strider got some damage down on the binding, but it's not a gigantic deal. He comes back to lane... Uh, Rock and integrity and desire. So, in three, yeah, three but bots. he's gonna have a he's gonna have a big problem now though, because Meta Maker finished his order. Yeah. He is going to be like completely laughing off Wild Styles damage. Going to be doing absolutely nothing. He's got a hundred and fifty three armor. Ouch. Yeah, so Meta Maker's gonna have to do almost twenty six hundred points of damage to take down. I, they're <laughs> trading pretty and well though. Some, even no above and beyond that, that wow. was impressive. They both went in pretty hard, and they both came out with similar amounts of health, so... Which is surprising, uh, actually. I mean, as, as long as Metamaker can dodge the Celerity Shells, he'll win the trades every single time. Yeah, power's just about even, so damage is dead even. 
Well, the Wild Spawn's been defending most of this match under his binding. There goes the oh, drain. there goes the drain. Well, it's just to sustain him back up a little bit. Oh, I sustained him back up quite a bit. Let's be honest. Well, you know, it's only, what, a quarter of his health? I mean, shoot. Compared to Metamaker, though, now Metamaker less than half. Uh, and they hit Wild 10 at the exact same time. Wow. Let's see what second spells come up here. Uh, let's say, it looks like Metamaker's going to match the drain with a drain of his own. So he's got drain dispel. He's definitely going to be able to trade uh, drains and come out ahead of it. Wild well, Although... for the wither, though. So yeah, he wants that I all like in. the wither. Yeah, he and wants there we to go. go now. There goes the drain, but he, progress gate's going to keep him safe. Bit of strider aggro pushing wild back. <laughs> That's Strider aggro. Um, we are 10 minutes with a 30 CS lead. No, we are 20, no, 20, 20. CS. Coming in You're close, drunk, though. Yeah, I am drunk. I'm going home. Wait, I am home. <laughs> you <right>. are home. <laughs> Coming up close. Yeah, that, he came back from that. I thought it was 30 because a minute ago he was at like about 27 when I pulled it up. So. No, no, he never hit 30 from what I saw. All right. Well, I will let you track that since I'm apparently too drunk to count. <laughs> Metabaker just hits 11, he's going to take the rest of this wave for free. Wildstar is not going to be able to do anything about it. The aggressive progress gate ends, probably just to get some insight shell stack so he can get some free harass off. Hmm, insight, yeah, and that's uh, one thing that Metamaker is doing quite well that I don't see Wildstar doing uh, anywhere near as well, is he's uh, kind of rotating his abilities in and out. Just to just to keep his insight shell stacks up. Yeah. It's like we've got a 24, 23 lead right now. Now I'll give Wild Style this: he's CSing under binding pretty well. I mean, he's only lost one CS in all that. Yeah, Meta's definitely focused on trying to push that CS lead, um, which is good because hello, he is a bit of a gladiator, right? And he's also. Uh, wanting to try to push him under and get that advantage up as good as possible. Obviously, underbinding is a harder way to last hit than, uh, than any other way, so... But Wild is but doing a good job on it. Gets the binding down to about half, though. Oh, there goes oh, the Chaos the Shell. Chaos Shell, but by itself, Chaos Shell's not going to do a ton. Nope. And it wore off already. Well, and the reason it didn't do a whole lot there is he's sitting on 116 armor, so... Most of that gets reduced. It's running on, well, uh, what, 53% reduction, so... Now, you want to see... You want to see some armor. Metamaker's rocking 162. Yeah, it's sitting him at 61%, so it's an 8% difference. Um, he did use that advantage, though, to push under and get a bunch of damage down on the binding. Yeah, the binding's uh, down to 1355. 22, he's watched that CS. He's trying to push that uh -oh, CS. Oh, he got withered. There's the insight shell into the celerity shell, but it, Wild Cell just doesn't have the damage. He's going to drop the, the drain, drain, but Metamaker just doesn't care. Metamaker just focusing on that CS. I think he wants to uh, push that binding down, but Wild's just clearing out the wave quicker than he then he can do anything else. Well, this binding is going to put Wild Sai on the timer real quick, like here. This binding's got 1,300 health. That's... Metamaker's doing about 100 damage on his auto attacks. So that, this binding is not going to last long. 940... Under 1,000. And Wild Sai is at quarter health, but he can't leave, because if he leaves, he loses his binding. There's the uh, progress gate into the celerity shell, but it's just not doing enough damage. Metamaker baiting him, but I don't think Wildstar is really going to take it. Metamaker's being really smart, though, with his abilities. He's definitely... Oh, is he going all in? He's going to no, try to push him no, back and finish that it. binding off. He is really low right now. Wildstar yeah. is in danger here. Yeah, Wild is... I oh. think he's given up. I think he's just like, no. He's gonna die to minions. Suicide to minions! Oh, Alright, guys. Minions OP. <laughs>Looks like we've got uh, same loadout from uh, Wildstyle this time. He's got some health, some power, some haste. That's right, Candy Cake. Nightbot is a jerk. Nightbot's got Nightbot to call himself a jerk. jerk. <laughs> we got our standard resilience three pots build here.
from Wildside. And, and I'm actually surprised by that. I didn't expect to see all the armor coming out during this uh, match. I would expect a little more aggression, but I guess not. All right, and Metamaker did win the first round, yes? I'm not losing my mind. Yes, Metamaker did okay. win the first round because Wildstyle stylishly died to minions. That's right. Going with that swag walk in to minions. So, Metamaker this time uh, running a hunger uh, two pot with the dispel again. Spawn. That habit is uh, sticking around. So, uh, yes. Wildstyle has not picked a spell yet. Uh, we actually saw Downsy and I think Paradelton also didn't choose one a lot. Oh no, he just picked Drain. Never mind. I was about to say he was just going to sit on his spell choice until he figured out what he needed in that situation and then just pick it in the moment and use it and, you know, become, like, he's, like, brilliant and he thought ahead of it and, like, <sighs> nope. You, you, you disappoint me, Wild. Minions have spawned. Caster's Curse. Yeah, he was, I didn't want to give anything away. He was uh, having a little fun over there in the corner. And, uh... <laughs> In the tri bush. I was trying to uh, hold my tongue and not say anything while I uh, fix the overlay. So guys, the scores are now working. Let's see if I can uh, keep the scores and the names updated. You know, that's a that's a point, uh, Spinal Dash. If anybody leaves the base without a resilience, they just purchased a defensive downgrade. Well, I, yeah, I guess you could put it that way. By the way, guys, uh, Spinal Dash is uh, another one of uh, the members of the uh, TSG team. I think he'll be uh, doing uh, some articles for us, particularly something I... Th I don't know if I want to say yet, but uh, he's got some stuff coming down the pipe. He's got, he's got something in the pipeline. I'm working on it. I know, we're just as bad as Waystone with the teases. Sorry. Oh, I'm a big tease. <laughs> Alright, so some early trades. Meta getting some harass down on Wild. Nothing overall... Uh, too crazy after that little tri bush fun that he had. The wild style soft though, that's the thing. Which is I guess where the FU came from. <laughs> uh, get him down to half under his own binding. Uh, that's just really just, harassing. Wow. Him. Oh come on man, you can come on wild star, you can get him. Right, they both hit level three, three real quick. And Wild's not leaving Metamaker. Metamaker just putting all kinds of pressure on Wild Style here. And the thing is, you know, he's saying he doesn't have money for loadouts. Um, these loadouts that are run are pretty cheap, actually. Well, it, the basic ones do a pretty solid, solid job uh, just up front. Um, but you know, oh. if you if you're really trying to specialize, it can give you a, an advantage. But that's just kind of part of the format. Yeah, Metamaker went aggressive with his progress gate into a celerity shell there. Took on a good chunk of Wild Style's health, but he hit level 4 to uh, stave off any potential uh, binding dive. Uh, Vestboy, no, you didn't miss Best Reina. Although, uh, I can't imagine that being very exciting, but... Hey, shields on shields on shields. Shields. And of course, but then again, we did get trolled like that in Best Dibs World, where you know we had uh, Wildcard and Paradelton both taking extremely defensive loadouts, and they were like the quickest games. So I, I just don't even know anymore. I don't even know what to expect. I mean, we see Varian's building Resilience first item, you know. I, I just, I just don't even know. Metamaker first to five, Wildstyle are oh, real close behind him. There's the progress gate to follow Wildstyle's progress gate, but it's not gonna result in much other than a good chunk of binding damage. Wow, 700 damage off the binding just from that one Strider wave. Uh oh, I think we're gonna have to do uh, that oh. drain. Yeah, that but it's quickly. not gonna do a lot. No, there was, he doesn't have Dispel. Wildstyle yeah, has uh, Drain as well. No, Wild dropped the Drain. Meta Dispelled. Oh, did, no, he, no, Wild yep. doesn't have a Dispel. Right. Wild Drained Metamaker. Give it a Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dropping Chaos Shell. I'm, forcing him back out of lane. Drowther, go home, you drunk. Yeah, we're both oh, drunk apparently today on a Saturday morning. 
afternoon now, I guess. So that's fine. Now it's it's okay. It's afternoon. We're good. Never mind. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's after nine o'clock. Yeah. All right. So Meta's <laughs> gonna put some uh, put some more damage down on the binding, using all of his and abilities just to uh, get that bonus damage down, which is smart with a variant. Yep, and also a good amount of haste too. 55 haste is not a joke. 55% increased attack speed for one point in a skill. Not bad at all. That's, That's a very good deal. I'd take it all day. Definitely uh, Vim efficient. So Wild coming and back to lane with, uh, with an integrity. Damn. Grabbing that early defense again. Yeah, learning from from MetaMaker, because you know, if, if you remember, MetaMaker had the uh, the order at the end of the game. Yeah, worked out pretty well. Made ultimately. him. Yeah, very much so. It's. I mean, the abilities were still doing damage, but the basic attacks. Yeah, forget it. They were doing nothing. Strider waves pushing in here. Uh, Meta's wiping it out really quick, though. Uh, he came back to lane uh, with a, a desire and a resilience, and his hunger. So. All the life drain. Aggressive progress gate, but Wild Style having none of that, sir, he's gonna progress gate right out of trouble too. Well the thing is with MetaMaker playing like this, he's denying experience to Wild Style. I mean if he comes up into experience range, he's gonna eat a celerity shell. Might get followed by a progress gate. Very good. Look at all that free harass Wild Style's taken and he can't oh. oh he whips on the chaos shell, which makes MetaMaker go very aggressive, brings Wild Style down to a third health. Uh, but the level up again is going to stave off any further aggression. There goes Chaos the Shell again. onto Wild Style, but he's out of Celerity Shell range in the Chaos. Oh, oh no, he lands it on the right very the tip edge. of it. Going 90, in. 90, 100 health, 50, 20, 0, MetaMaker, GG.